Alana, you hear it all the time, how excited people are for the snow that is uh, expected to continue to come. It's the greatest snow on earth, Emily, and yeah, my skis are waxed, ready to go snow basin, adding with the guns what we got from Mother Nature, but we're starting with Wolf Creek Pass. Doesn't that look frosty? Today they were in the mid-20s, we had sunshine, but yeah, fresh snow on the ground there, and we also had a dusting on the Pine Valley Mountains in southern Utah. Look at those clear skies, but the cold front passed through last night, bringing in just a little bit of moisture and uh, fresh snow in southern Utah, visible from Washington County as you look towards the top of the Pine Valley Mountains. Final snow totals were in more than a foot at the Canyons Village in Park City, 11 inches at Snow Basin, 10 at Alta. Park City Mountain picked up eight and a half and Snowbird got eight. So the final numbers from this storm cycle, healthy. We were looking at three to seven overperforming with the help of that northwesterly flow and those showers that continued throughout the afternoon and evening yesterday. High temperatures today, running below average 49 in Salt Lake 55 is actually where we should be this time of year so we were on the cooler side 50s for the eastern side of the state 63 in St. George and 40s along the I-15 corridor cold night setting up we're already into the mid 30s as we close out ABC 4 News at 10 those clear skies will allow temperatures to really dip so along the Wasatch Front we are expecting well freezing by 4 a.m. but falling into the upper 20s we will see teens in outlying areas and that includes in central and southern Utah by tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. It's still cold, mostly clear. We'll give way to plenty of sunshine, but you're going to want to bundle up as the kids head out to school and you get ready for work. It's going to be a cold start, but we are going to warm things up similar to where we were today. Unfortunately, daytime highs stay below average here for the next several days, and that includes going into Veterans Day. By the latter half of the weekend and into next week, we're going to see those temperatures rising. Here's the reason why. Big picture view here giving you an idea that that upper level low that brought the rain and snow has tracked to the east. We do get a weak disturbance that rolls through for the end of our work week into Friday, but it's a dry one. We will see an increase in cloud cover, but that will also keep temperatures at bay. Once that exits, high pressure starts to take control, and this is by Sunday, so for a portion of your Veterans Day weekend, and then heading into next week, which will allow temperatures to climb above average, but we know that won't last forever. No, no, no. Futurecast shows us the clear skies tonight, really quiet conditions through our Thursday, and then as we head into Friday, you notice that cloud cover increasing, heading towards the Beehive State through the afternoon. That is a front that's associated with that weak system. It's not going to drop temperatures too much. It's not going to bring any wet weather, but it will keep our numbers slightly below seasonal norms. A more progressive pattern hinting here in the long range as we look at the 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook for the entire state. We're looking at above average chances of wet weather, but heavily favoring the southwest desert. We'll see what happens, but that wet weather would come through and it looks like we could get active by the second half of next week. Regional forecast for tomorrow. We've got 40s and 50s expected 40s and 50s on the eastern side of the state. Lots of sunshine and low 60s in St. George. As we zoom in, our mountain valleys won't differ much from our actual valleys. Park City topping out at 42, while Ogden will be in the upper 40s, mid 40s in Tooele County. In central Utah, mix of 40s with mostly sunny skies. Places like Green River will get to the 50s. We'll also see that near Lake Powell and Fort Kanab, low 60s yet again in St. George, running below average 68 is where you're supposed to be this time of year down there in Washington County. Okay, some gusty canyon winds overnight again tonight, but the warming trend will hold on as we head to Veterans Day in Southern Utah with sunshine. Here's a look at your Veterans Day weekend plans. We've got 50s and getting to the upper 50s by Sunday, so the holiday itself will be dry. Wasatch Front showing those temperatures getting into the 50s with clear conditions. We will stay dry, but by the middle of next week, a little more cloud cover and the models starting to hint that wet weather could make a comeback. The 60s due to that high pressure mm. as we start next week. Early Veterans Day plans look pretty good. Okay. Good job, you. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs>